My mom was born on Thursday Island. Um, so all her, she has, there's six kids in her family. Um, they were all born there. And then when she was about seven, so it was like 1963 or something. Um, they just wanted to get away. You know, my grandparents wanted, um, you know, a be better opportunity for the kids for education and then also um, job-wise, you know, for, for my grandparents. So they moved to, they moved away in 63, um, I think to Cannes. And then they moved to Darwin a few years after that, and they've been there ever since. My mom, when she married my dad, they moved back to the States, because my dad's American. Um, they had their first kid, and then on their way over, he was about seven or eight months old, and they wanted to bring him over to show, you know, show him off to the family. Um, and he actually passed away on the plane ride of SIDS. So that obviously threw my parents for a loop, and they ended up staying here um, in Australia. My mom wanted to stay until she had another kid. They went back. They went back and forth a couple of times. So two of my brothers were born here in Australia, but I was born in the States. I have only been here twice before now, um, but I loved it. I had only been to Darwin, so I thought Darwin was beautiful and I loved it. You know, my, my grandma lives not far from the beach. But then when I tell other people that are actually Australians, they're like, oh, who wants to go to Darwin? You know, <laughs> that type of thing. Um, now I understand why they say that, you know, being in Sydney and being here. Um, but I love, you know, I love, I love every part of Australia that I've seen. I was drafted to Phoenix. I was there about, for the, for the WNBA, I was there about 10 days or so. And we had a scrimmage out in New York. Um, they liked me over there and, you know, in Phoenix, they said, you know, we don't know if we're going to keep you or not. They really want you, so I think it's a better deal for you to go there. So I was traded to New York. I've been there ever since. My agent just called me this summer and said, hey, you know, there's a team interested in you. Um, would you like to go, you know, and apply for your citizenship? and do all that and I, you know, right away I was, you know, I didn't even have to think about it. I said, of course, you know, my mom always wanted me to come play here. I'm getting, you know, later in my career and I just want to enjoy it, not only basketball, but also the lifestyle and all of that. So, you know, without hesitation, I told them I would love to and just got things going from there. I've only been here a little over a week, um, but I've already, you know, texted my family and friends that I'm in love with this city. I love it here. So it's exciting. I think being a point guard, you know, that's always a part of your job is to make sure everyone's on the same page and and just, you know, give tips if I see things. Right there we can chop it because she's so far on the side. I actually know Jenna from the past. My first year overseas, I believe it was her first year too, we both played um, together. So we have that relationship, um, you know, and then we're roommates on the road. So. She's done a great job of, you know, making sure I'm settled in and everything's all right or recommending places to go. When I first met her, when we were playing over in France together, um, she was this little pocket rocket, um, always with a smile on her face, uh, really um, smart point guard, just uh, always gets the ball into the correct people's hands and I noticed that from the outset four years ago back in France and uh, she's come along even further um, now playing with her again and it's such a pleasure to be on court with her and that's one of the big reasons why Jan Young have started off so well, having a point guard who's first, second, third, even fourth option is to pass. I think the basketball is really good. Um, our practices here are intense, you know, we work on the, on the basic fundamental and like the team chemistry and all that and I think um, some of my teams in Europe we miss that part of basketball so um, I really like that about it here. Um, probably better shooters here overall, you know, from top to bottom of the roster. Um, whereas in the WNBA, it's a lot more explosive, a lot more driving, you know, a lot more physical, and then the players are a lot bigger. Hopefully we can win it all. Um, I think it's attainable goal. Um, you know, we have a good coach, we have great players. Um, I think the best thing about our team is that we have multiple players um, who can score and then we also have great role players that come in off the bench and um, do a good job rebounding or playing defense. Um, you know, we have a great team and I, I, I'm really excited about. After our first game, I told Coach, I was like, Coach, we have a really good team. I think, you know, we have a really good chance to do this. And he said, I agree. And actually in our first shoot around, he said, you know, someone told me if I want to be a good, a good coach, get good players. But if I want to be a great coach, get great players. And I think that we have that this year.